Now, I was mentioned a few minutes ago that uh, our show for the Daisy Appeal from Weymouth was one of my highlights of the Daisy Appeal. We went to open the chalet that you, listening to this show and to this station, raised money for. And we were very proud on that morning. And Siobhan Courtney, our uh, West Dorset reporter, was almost my co-host, weren't you, Siobhan? I was. That day. And we, re- we had a lovely morning down there. Yeah. But there's a bit of sad news uh, today because uh, a friend of ours and a friend of uh, the Appeal as well, Joe Davis, um, sadly has died and uh, the funeral of joe uh, will take place today in weymouth won't it that's right um julian yeah joe was just 33 when she died last week um and she was wife to chris and mother to five-year-old harvey as well and um she wasn't actually able to make the event in weymouth i think you'll remember she was just too ill and weak but um she did invite me to her home beforehand and allowed me to interview her so she could still take part in the program and i think when i met joe the first thing that um, struck me about her was just her positive outlook on life and her, her love for her husband, Chris, and their five-year-old son, um, son Harvey. That just really shone through. I've got a wonderful relationship with my son. I live each day as it comes. I don't like Harvey seeing the horrible side of cancer. In fact, Julian, I've got a bit of a funny story to tell you about how accommodating she actually was. Um, I spent an afternoon with her initially and we talked about her experiences and what she'd been going through. And then you know what it's like in our line of work. Sometimes we do suffer from technical problems. Mm. And that day, I just thought, I hope everything goes OK with my piece of recording equipment. Got back to the BBC office here in Dorchester and found the whole interview actually hadn't recorded. And I was furious and I thought, oh no, I've just wasted all, all of Joe's time. But because her story was so special and she was just so, I don't know, poignant the way she mm. spoke, I thought I'm going to have to just give her a call and see if she can slot me back in. And she did. She completely changed all her plans at the last minute, it went to her hospice um, later, I think made alternative arrangements for her son to be taken to school just so I could come back and re-record her, which was so generous of her. Exactly. Well, that sums up Joe perfectly, doesn't it, mm. uh, that, that she did that. Now, you're going to the, the, the funeral uh, today, aren't you? I am, Julian, yes, and I'm sure that I'll be one of many crammed into the church to pay tribute to Joe. And I spoke to her husband, um, Chris, yesterday, actually, and he said that he's trying very hard at the moment to be strong for their five-year-old son, Harvey, who has actually just this week, um, week caught chickenpox. Oh, no. I know, and he said to me that um, somebody had said to him, what are you doing this weekend, Chris? And he said, I have no idea what to do at the weekend. I haven't had to make a decision for 14 years. So I thought that was really sweet, um, you know. Yeah, that's lovely. Well, look, Chris has been writing an online blog about his experience caring for a terminally ill wife and mum as well. And I know we're going to end this little chat uh, with some words from that, aren't we? We are, Julian. And um, Chris has allowed me to read an entry to you. And this was um, written on the 6th of June and is, and is titled Gone. At 1.15pm, I decided to hold Jo in my arms as her breathing was more shallow. I asked her mum, who had been with us for a little while, if she wanted to hold her hand too. I'd just put George Michael on the CD player, her favourite, and as Father Figure was playing, she opened her eyes and looked at me as she took her last few breaths. I'm so glad that her mum was here too. That would have been very important to Jo. I'm going to collect Harvey from school very soon and take him somewhere quiet to tell him before bringing him home to see her. I love her very, very much and can't believe she isn't here anymore. I have always been in awe of the love that has been and still is expressed for her. I'm going to miss her always. Thanks, Siobhan, for that, and uh, we send all our love to Joe's family this morning. I-